Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. So on that note, let's start this video. Guys, if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel, like this video and share this within your WhatsApp status and WhatsApp groups, student groups, so that it will reach maximum number of students and everyone will get, I hope, benefited. So guys, uh, don't forget to like this video. If you are, if you like the video, then only I can feel your support towards our channel and our videos so that I can do better videos till the last week of this uh, IOT assignment given so so this is week to assignment guys so i hope every solution is almost correct but if you feel there should be any changes to be made please give your opinion in the comment section guys so do watch full video without skipping if you skip the video you may miss some content so do watch full video guys so now let's see the first question so first one which of the following is a feature of the fourth industrial revolution? Fourth industrial revolution. So for first question, the correct answer is option D. Use of AI, ML and CPS. So mark option D guys. Now let's move on to the second one. Second question, Dash has helped in producing objects that are mutable and adaptable. Fill in the blank. So what is the correct answer guys? So I think the probable answer is option A, digital fabrication, digital fabrication. Now let's move on to the third one, the third question. So third one, select the option that best describes the tipping point, the tipping point. So for third question, the probable answer is option A, radical change in the feature, future that lead to, leads to innovation. So I think uh, first option could be the probable answer for third question. Now let's move on to the fourth one guys. So fourth question, which of the following is or are drivers of sustainability in industry 4.0? So guys for this I think only option A could be the probable answer guys. That's what given in the lectures I think. So globalization could be the probable answer. So mark option A. Now. Let's uh, move on to the fifth question. So fifth one. Information regulation in public is covered under which of the following laws? So for fifth question. The probable answer is. Option. Two guys. Second option, option B, advertisement regulations. So mark option B. Now let's move on to the sixth one guys. So before giving the solution for sixth one, I want to make a small announcement guys. So for IIOT 4.0 and industrial IOT, so we have prepared uh, exam preparation MCQs guys. So there are two packs available savings pack and super savings pack So it's a PDF access Google Drive link both are uh, PDF access links So in the savings pack you will get 150 MCQs which uh, the cost is 300 rupees guys and Here super savings pack as it name uh, given uh, the definition for you. So it is 300 MCQs guys huge number of MCQs for just 500 only here the price is doubled guys in the savings pack. But here the price is not doubled. So it's better to take this pack so you are getting more number of MCQs. So the validity is till the exam day guys. You will get the validity till the exam day for both this pack. And the benefit of uh, the super savings pack is uh, up to 5 members access you can get guys. Per, per, per each person it will take 100 only right. So if you buy in groups, 
suppose if your classmates are uh, doing the same course five of you can form a group and you can purchase this pack right so for each person it takes just 100 rupees only so similarly here also so up to three members access given for this uh, savings normal savings pack so for 300 rupees per three, uh, if you three members can form a group you can buy this case but i recommend you to take this 300 rupees pack i mean 300 mcq pack because you are getting more mcqs here money is not uh, the matter guys so more number of mcqs means more and better practice right better practice that will lead you to better preparation better preparation and there is a chance of getting good grade right so i recommend you this 300 mcq pack guys so hope you got my point so here the topic coverage is also very high in this super savings pack because we cover more number of concepts and search option is available for both of these and it both of them are easy to revise because it's a pdf access you will get till the exam day guys the validity is till the exam day even if the exam postponed also postpone also we will uh, extend the date guys so think carefully and think smart guys so with nearly five years of experience we have collected the mcqs so if you want to buy then only message me guys you can message me to this email id so i will give my email in the uh, description box and also in the comment section also so this is my email id guys so already many people have taken this iot pdf packs so hope you do so so think smart and purchase this 300 mcq pack guys so it is the better option i because the same individual price is also uh, taken because for five members 500 means for each person 100 rupees only right so which is same as uh, 300 by 3 so it's better to take 300 mcqs individually right so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so sixth one how does population growth affect the manufacturing industry so for sixth question the correct answer is option d all of the above so mark option d now let's move on to the seventh question guys seventh one which of the following statements is true about recession so for seventh question the correct answer is uh, i think the probable one is option c guys recession is observable on gdp of a country so mark option C guys. Now let's move on to the eighth one. So eighth question. The lean manufacturing system introduced by Toyota is based on which of the following approaches? So for eighth question, I think the probable answer is option C guys. Both a and b both a and b so mark option c now let's move on to the ninth question ninth one which of the following is not not an impact of the lean production system on manufacturing so for ninth question the correct answer is option a highest lead time highest lead time so mark option a now let's move on to the 10th question guys 10th one so 10th question what is kpi in the context of performance management so for 10th question the probable answer is option b key performance indicator key performance indicator so mark option b now let's move on to the 11th question 11th one which of the following statements is or are true about smart and connected products so for 11th question the probable answer is option d all of the above now let's move on to the 12th question so for 12th question the correct answer is option a guys option a and for 13th one the answer is option d all of the above option d all of the above now let's move on to the 14th one the last but one question so the answer is option c opaque now moving on to the final question that is 15th one so the probable solution is 
ऑप्शन डी गाइस सो दैट्स इट गुड बाय